We are in Vietnam, but it looks like France. What is this place? We are visiting the mountainside resort of Sun World Bana Hills in Da Nang, Vietnam. If you guys know us at all, you know we love Disneyland. You could say we just have a thing for really well-run magical theme parks. I'm freaking out. So we wanted to see how it stacks up against all of our expectations, and we want to take you guys along with us. Even though Bana Hills is an hour and a half away from our hotel here in Hoi An, we opted to rent a motorbike for 150,000 dong versus taking a private car or joining a tour just because it's the way we like to travel. We made it to Bana Hills. It only took us about an hour and it wasn't a bad drive at all. We didn't even have to go up the hills nearly at all, just right at the very end and it was beautiful and cold. I loved it. But the way to get to the very top of the mountain where Bana Hills is, is by cable car. We already purchased our tickets ahead of time on Kluk. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can find them as well. There's actually national tickets and foreign visitor tickets. So they were 825,000 dong per person. We got a little bit of a discount because we booked ahead online instead of showing up here where they're 850. Saved a couple bucks, not bad. And a line. So now we get to go straight to the cable cars. I don't know where they are though. Officially been here two minutes and it's insane already. Like, look at this giant door I'm about to walk through. It's huge! So right now we're walking through the Hoi An garden, which has like little moats and bridges and a mural with all the yellow buildings and lanterns. So it's kind of giving that sense that you're still in Vietnam and we're still in like this cute historic place. We are trying to go to the Golden Bridge first because I think that's one of the most popular things to do here in Sun World. So it's early and I don't think it'll be crowded yet, but we don't want to go later. So we have to go back down because we went to the wrong cable car. There's so many cable cars. Thank you. The cable cars are huge. And unlike some we've been on before, every single seat has a good view, which is really nice. My ears are popping. Your ears are popping? Mm -hmm. The cable car actually holds the world record for the longest non-stop single. Single track. Single track cable car ride in the whole world. <laughs> and there are a lot of cable car world records, so I don't know if that really means anything, but it was 20 minutes long and absolutely beautiful. Wow, we're just on the bridge already. Yep. Like, just walk right out. We should go. Sorry. Sorry, excuse me. I think everybody had the same idea as we did, is just get up here before all this happens, but it's just happening anyways. I can't blame them. It's absolutely gorgeous up here. So this is the Golden Bridge. It's also known as the Hands Bridge because it looks like God's hands are coming out of this mountainside holding this pedestrian bridge up. And it was opened in 2018, so it's relatively new, but it's very popular already. And it was named one of the most beautiful pedestrian bridges in the entire world, albeit very crowded. <laughs> The reason the views are so amazing up here is because we're 1,500 meters above sea level, which gives you a pretty nice overview of all the landscape around. And if you look far enough in the distance, you can even see the ocean. We made it across the bridge. I think it took like an hour, maybe more, just to like work through there and try to get a couple photos. And it was so surprising to me that no matter how many people there are here, there are these like teeny tiny pockets where you can get a photo and nobody's in it. I think we got like three. It's very unpredictable. It takes a lot of patience, but it's possible. We decided to grab some lunch. It's kind of early, but we're hungry because we had an early start today. So we grabbed hot dogs. First of all, they're huge. And it was 90,000 dong for the hot dog, 20,000 for a soda. Recently, we were in the US and got a hot dog at like an event, a baseball game, and it was $9 for just one hot dog. So pretty good prices for a theme park. Fun 
Fun fact, this place is special for the French culture because the French actually used to come here when they colonized Vietnam in the 19th century as like their mountain retreat. It was a lot cooler, more like France where it's not as hot and humid as it is in Vietnam. So they would come up to the mountains and this is where they would go on their vacations. And now this is like where everybody goes on their vacations because of this awesome place. So this wine cellar is actually from 1923. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. It's so cold in here. Do you think this is really from 1923? I don't know now. Cause like this kind of looks like like Indiana Jones type thing, you know? Yeah. Oh, this is unbelievable. That was very Disney. You wind through the attraction and you come out to a place where you can spend money. This park is actually way bigger than I even expected. There's three different levels right now with a lot more being built. There's so much construction going on. Luckily, it's not really interrupting the experience at all. It's like outside the park walls right now, but it is gonna be even bigger. But the three levels are the lower level with the Golden Bridge and the Gardens of Love, the upper level with the French Village and Fantasy Park, and the mountaintop with the spiritual area. So you would think the giant nine-story Big Buddha would be up in the spiritual level on the mountaintop, but it's actually in its own Lin Ung Pagoda, which is here on the lower level. It's already 12.15 and we have spent almost four hours in just one area, but it's like a fraction of how big this park is. So we're gonna go back and see if we can find our way to the French Quarter. The clouds have really, really rolled in. They're literally like whisking past us right now. Oh my gosh. This castle's not open yet, but it's so cool. Look at this, like, oh my gosh. I'm so excited about it. Oh, there's the Alpine coaster. Oh, there's a coaster? Yeah. Yeah, look at right here. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I love roller coasters. It's like those ones that you kind of sit in, you know? Oh yeah, look at that. That looks so fun. <laughs> this place is amazing. I am just so excited about it. Yeah, we had these in... Uh... <laughs> What is this place? Alicia made a really good point on the way up. Right now, Bana Hills is a day trip borderline two days, but with all the construction they're putting in, it looks like they want to make this more of a multi-day theme park, like a Disneyland resort. And they look like well, well, well on their way. This is actually a hotel. I kind of wish we'd stayed here. That'd be so cool. Is this what Oktoberfest is supposed to look like? Yeah, no, this is, I went to a beer festival in Prague and this is what it looked like. Look at their uniforms though. Aren't they great? Fantastic. <laughs> Can we get two draft beers? Uh, like all yellow. yellow. Like, thank you. this place is with all of the details, all of the costumes, plus Vietnamese people are just so nice. So everybody working here has that like magical energy like you get when you're at Disneyland. It's like blowing my mind how good this is because it's hard to do what Disneyland does and they're doing it. It's really good. 
And I can't believe we've been in a theme park for almost six hours now, and we haven't gone on a single ride, which is my favorite thing to do at a theme park. <laughs> but now we're going to the Alpine Steamroller Coaster. Alpine Coaster. The Alpine Coaster. There is a line, but how long will it take? Just barely. <laughs> it's already been 25 minutes, and we've barely moved, so this could take a while. Wow, oh, you can't even see anything up here. No. Apparently the ride is closed, I'm guessing because of the clouds. We haven't seen one go in a really long time and then the people waiting at the bottom who were like supposed to go next finally came up and said it's closed. <laughs> Which sucks for them. But we waited 45 minutes. So we're gonna go into the indoor theme park and that shouldn't be closed because it's inside. <laughs> we are totally in the clouds now. There's a huge line for the cable car to go back down the mountain. So maybe it'll be kind of open because there's everyone's leaving because you can't see anything. This is definitely not what I was expecting for the indoor theme park. It's more like a kiddie carnival with like carnival games and small kid rides, but the decor is still great. It's like an underground theme and it's pretty cool, but just not for us, I don't think. Are we going on? This means it's not for kids. We're gonna try it out. Okay. You got something for me? Have fun. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Whoa. <laughs> we spent a lot of time at the lower part, and that's because we were taking videos and pictures and everything, but I think if I were to do this again, I would do that a little faster and then come up here. There's just a lot to do up here, and it's insanely gorgeous. I do more to go That fountain is actually made by an Italian designer. We aren't actually sure what time this place closes. We thought five. I think the amusement park and the rides all close at five. I don't know. The lady said that we could leave on the cable car at five, six, nine, or ten. I can think of worse places to be stuck. And, uh, chicken and yeah. uh, pop. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. It looks wonderful. So far, the food has been less than average. We've only eaten like the typical food though, which is like the hot dogs, mid pretzels too, I guess. But they have some sit down restaurants. Those look closed. So we came back here to get the barbecue. It smells really good, but I guess our goal is to find good food here. Cause that is like the one thing that's lacking. Well, two things that's lacking. No rides, no good food. <laughs> Not a good sign. It's still not that great. So the question remains, is Bonna Hills worth the trip? A resounding yes. Overall, I'd give it an eight out of 10. It is just gorgeous. The detail is insane and everyone is so, so friendly up here. Earlier, I had- Did you spill on yourself? Did I spill on myself? I had drunk the soda with the water in my hand and it was fine because there was a lid. So then I decided to drink the water with the no, soda. No, you in didn't. My hand and the soda portal. This is the Sprite, not the water. Oh my gosh, Alicia. 